Hey guys, Roberto here, and today I'm reviewing the Power Rangers Ninja Steel Ninja Blaster. Now guys, the Ninja Blaster is the official side piece for the Power Rangers Ninja Steel, and this blaster is very, very wacky looking. If you guys remember in Ninja, the Japanese version of Ninja Steel, uh, Shuriken Sensei Ninja, Ninja, the Ninja Ninjas used a frog gun, and this is the frog gun, this is our version of it. Uh, if you guys can notice that it look, actually looks very different. If you guys are wondering what the Japanese version looks like, the Red Ranger is holding it right here in the Japanese, uh, in, in the picture, the promotion, you want to call it. And you guys can sort of notice the difference. Uh, the Japanese version, the Japanese version was called the Gama Gama Ju or something like that. It was supposed to represent like a, a frog or whatever. And you guys can sort of see the, the frog shape. You guys notice also that there's some paint missing, but yeah, but it looks very different from the Japanese version. And, uh... For over here for the United States, they actually changed it up a little bit. It actually looks very different from the show. And I actually watched Ninja Steel Episode 1 today. And when the Rangers destroyed the monster of the week, they actually took out the Ninja Blaster and they shot at him. But it was the, Jap the, the Japanese version, with the which looks a little bit more wacky. You guys can tell the difference when the American version looks a little bit more badass and more, more angry. While the Japanese version is just like, hi there. But yeah, but... I really don't understand why they changed it up. It, they really could have just left it the same. Maybe they were just trying to look, go for a more serious look, but it kind of makes it redundant when you're literally making, like you're literally using pictures of the Japanese version, which which looks a lot more wacky. And you can literally see like they look very different from each other. This is the Japanese version, this is the American version. The fire on the side isn't as accurate too. So that, that kind of bothers me that they just switched it up for no reason. But I don't know. I, I don't know why they did that. But yeah, but the Ninja Blaster is the official side piece, and yeah. Now, if you guys are wondering, I got the Ninja Blaster at Toys R Us for $16.99. And anyways, enough rambling. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the toy. All right, guys. So here's the top of the packaging, and it shows the red Ninja Ninja Steel Ranger uh, throwing the Elemental Power Star, whatever you want to call it. And then there's the awesome Power Rangers Ninja Steel logo there with the Ninja logo or Ninja Steel logo. And then a really cool thing about this toy is that it comes it actually comes with three ninja ninja power stars. So it comes with the red power star, another elemental power star, which is probably the, the fire version, and then uh the white uh ranger zord star. Uh there's a little note that I have to make quick. I'll talk to you guys about this later, but there's actually a big fiasco going on with this little power star right here, the white one. But yeah. Then the background shows a really cool Power Rangers lightning bolt logo that you guys have known to love for these past few years. And down here is a really cool picture of the Red Ninja Steel Ranger using the the Ninja Blaster. I was what I call the Frog Gun because I'm so used to calling it that. And down here it says the warning, advertisement, and all that stuff. Uh, do not point at eyes or face. So even though this thing literally shoots out foam, you still can't point at your face. You can't commit suicide with the Ninja Blaster. Sorry about that, guys. Rip. <laughs> uh, here's the Bandai logo and then the ages four and up. On the side is the Bandai logo again and ages four and up. On the other side is the same thing. So. Wow, that was that was a big surprise. So on the back is a really cool picture of the Red Ninja Steel Ranger holding the Japanese version of the Ninja Blaster, which is the frog gun. I'll call it that. I don't care. And then on top here is the Mendai logo, the Ages 4 and Up thing again, Power Rangers Ninja Steel logo. And on the right side, it shows you how you can play with this thing. You can load three Ninja Power Stars, so you insert it. You open the top. I'll show you guys how that works later. You open the top of the Ninja Blaster. You insert the Power Stars in there, and then you can uh, rapid fire launch or whatever. Uh... And then there's also more training gear in this uh, wave. Uh, a new thing that Ninja Steel is trying out is they're releasing like foam weapons. And obviously this is going to fail because no kid in their right mind would want to waste like $12. I think these, are, these sets are like $12. And it's literally just like dollar store foam weapons. And you know guys, you, you, you guys always know that I'm always trying my best to like tell you even if a toy is shitty I'll give it like at least like something. And even with like the shittiest toy that I've had in my collection, I think it's the Gold Ranger Morpher from Dino Charge. At least that had sounds. Actually, no, not not the Gold Ranger Morpher, the Silver Ranger Morpher from Super Mega Force. At least that had sounds and it had like some function. These things are literally just foam weapons with like shitty designs. This isn't even from the show. This is literally just they were. This is just made to sell toys. And honestly, guys, I really see no reason in buying these. So don't get these. They're literally a waste of money. You can get better things with this from even other toy lines. You can get like. Like an action figure with like the money that you can waste on these things. So yeah, definitely I don't approve these. I'm not reading these. So don't expect anything. Uh, so yeah, Roberto shitting on the Power Ranger toys. Uh, down here is a collect them all ad, and it shows all the Power Stars you can get, which is literally just the main five Power Stars repeated. Uh, and yeah, and then here's a Red Ninja Steel Ranger like it's ex like extending his hand, I guess, trying to grab one. And then here's the Japanese version of the Red Power Star. Uh, down here is an ad for the Power Rangers Bandai website or whatever. 
Uh, not all products may be available in your market. I don't really understand that. I guess that they're talking about the Japanese version or whatever. Uh, it's a Bomb Bronze logo, uh, only on Nickelodeon. And it's some random information about the company. And yeah, guys, so that was the packaging. And finally, I started taking a look at the Ninja Blaster itself. Guys, before we take a look at the Ninja Blaster itself, let's actually take a look at the Power Stars that it comes with real quick. So it comes with three Power Stars, and the first Power Star comes with is the Red Ninja Power Star. And I already got this one from the Deluxe Ninja Battle Morpher, so I guess it's just a repeat in my collection. And yeah, so it's literally the same the same Power Star. There's no real difference. They wasted an opportunity here. They would have they could have released like a White Ranger. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now why. This is literally horrible. Uh, next up is the Elemental Fire version of the Power Star. Uh, if you guys know, I got the, where is it? I got the water version. I think it was with like a power pack and this is the fire version. You guys can sort of see that there's like water there and then this one has fire. So yeah, you can tell the difference there. And finally, it's the White Ranger's Power Star, but this is the Zord one. This is to summon the Zord, not the actual White Ranger one. Now let's take a, let's talk about uh, Power Stars 101 like a class basically. If you guys know, the Ninja Steel Rangers use uh, power stars that have like literally the Ranger's helmet, like the head like showing in the power stars would signify that yeah, you're turning into this Ranger. Now, the power stars for the Zords feature just the Megazord logo, the Megazord head I mean, and then like literally like uh, the outline of the Ranger color that you're using. For example, if, it was, if this was the red a power star for the Zord, it would be basically like the same thing right here, but then it would have like a, a red outline, which is this red foam thing right here. It would be the, the white thing would be replaced by the red one here. And and if you guys look at the Ninja Bla Ninja Blaster, the back. Oh, let me move my camera back. If you guys look at the back, you guys can sort of see that there's the red power star that it comes with, and then there's the white Ranger power star. So what happened, man? That why did I why did we end up getting the Zord power star? And this is actually kind of disappointing because I was actually expecting to get the White Ranger one so I could complete my, my full main team. If you guys know, I already have uh, the Red Power Star for the Red Ranger, the Blue Power Star, the Yellow, and Pink. So I was just missing White, and I, I don't have White. I just have his sword. And uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very disappointed. And usually, like, things like this don't really bother me. Like, I know it's going to come out at some point. I've actually seen, like, packs for Series 2 of the Power Stars that come with the White Ranger one. But I haven't seen it in stores yet. And I'm planning on making an intro soon featuring the main five na rangers from Ninja Steel transforming into their respective selves. And I don't have the white ranger one yet, so I'm freaking out. And I literally have to film that soon, so I'm freaking out. So if you guys have the Ninja Battle Morpher, and you have it on, obviously. Let me just, yeah, let me just get back a little bit. Let me raise up my camera. And then, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do, we're, the first power star we're going to check out is the Red Ninja Power Star. You guys obviously know what it's going to say already, but this is do it for fun. So Red Ninja Power Star activate, not very surprising. Next up is the Elemental Power Star with the fire mode. And finally it's the White Ranger Power Star for the Zord. Rip. Actual Power Star for White Ranger. And it is the Kodiak Zord, so that is the official name for the Zord for the White Ranger. And yeah, guys, so those are the sounds of the Power Stars making the Deluxe Ninja Battle Morpher. Alright, guys, so finally, let's take a look at the Frog Gun or the Ninja Blaster. Uh, so here it is. It's actually very, very basic. And uh, you guys sort of see that. You guys can see the, the frog look that it has. You guys can see the, like, the body. It, it's actually, I think it's a tadpole, but I'll call it a frog. Because I'm more used to that. I'm not really a frog. It, frog person or whatever I don't really know what types of frogs there are I know there's tadpole and that's it but yeah but this is the frog and you can, you can see the hands right here you can see the body and then the legs and stuff and then there's that really cool ninja steel and the ninja fiery design it's not the, the ninja one the ninja one was a little bit more uh, you guys look at the Japanese version it was more lit up this one is just more like relaxing stuff uh, here is the ninja steel and the ninja logo and the other side is the same thing so, so it looks very, very basic. It's not, you know, your deluxe uh, toy. It's actually, it doesn't even make sounds. It's literally, this thing just doesn't, doesn't make sounds, which is actually very surprising because I remember, I remember that the original Japanese version, Gamma Gamma Ju, made sounds, and it would make like a rivet sound or whatever. Every time you shot, it would make blasting sounds. 
but this literally doesn't do anything. You just, the main point is to insert the power stars in there, shoot them, and you, you have fun. So it's a very basic toy, and I'll get on that later. But yeah, but the toy isn't, it's not very, you know, it's not something to say like, oh my god, like this is the toy that you have to get, but it's, it's a fun toy. But I'll give you guys my thoughts on that later, but here it is. Let me compare it real quick to the Dino Charge Morpher, the only other blaster that I have from Power Rangers for a gun toy. And the Dino Charge Morpher is a deluxe toy, so it makes sounds and stuff, and yeah, whatever, let me just put that away. So guys, the main function that it does is you basically put uh, the power stars, three power stars or whatever, the minimum that can hold is three, so that's it after that, you can't put four in there, it's just three. And you basically open the top right here, and then you just put the power stars in there, and make sure you have them on right, because then they will just mess up. And then you pull back this lever, and you're supposed to basically shoot the power stars out. So yeah, so it does that. And it actually looks really, really cool. It's it's very fun to shoot out these things. I really like what Ninja Seal is doing with the toy line where every toy that you get, you can shoot out power stars. Like, for example, the Ninja Star Saber, while the, the shooting thing kind of sucks because it doesn't really shoot that far, it's just fun that you can shoot stuff out. And yeah, so that's, that's the function that this thing does. And yeah, when you guys are done, you can just reload them and shoot again. So if you guys are wondering how far this shoots, let me just turn my camera over here and there's my power energy collection right but I'm not gonna aim at that because I don't want the figures to fall we're gonna aim all the way across my room so let me just pull this back and let's shoot so it shoots very very far you guys can see that it shot let's do that one more time and yeah so it doesn't shoot that uh, short but it doesn't shoot that far it's just in the middle and yeah so you can you can at least aim at people and just have fun with this and yeah now guys my final thoughts on this toy is that it's an okay toy uh, this is a toy where, again, you're divided whether it really just depends on the type of person that you are. If you're a collector and you want something with sounds and you want something that is amazing and it's worth the money, then this definitely isn't with you, for you. I got this just for the pure fact that it just looks fun. Yeah, and I'm a child at heart. I, I'm really childish. <laughs> Ch childish. But, uh, yeah, but, you get, but I really just enjoy, like, just using things that you can blast stuff out. For example, I'm a really big fan of, uh, like, just, like, the water guns. As a little kid, I would play with those a lot. And, uh... I've just always been a fun of just, you know, sh like guns, like just shooting, but I'm not going to hurt somebody, but I just, it's a fun thing to do. And I really wanted that to happen with the Dino Charge Morpher back when it came out. I expected it to like shoot the Dino Charges out and it just, it just sounded too, it, it just sounded too, too not something that Bandai of America would do. But they finally delivered with this little Ninja Blaster. And while the price is a little bit too much for, this thing doesn't even make sound. It, $16.99 is very expensive for such a toy. This doesn't make sound. It literally just... Like if you don't have any power stars and this thing is literally just pointless You can just use this as like a prop or something because it's not gonna do anything, but yeah, you gotta get it just It's a toy that you get for a little kid who's like four years old and just wants to have fun It's not a toy that an adult collector gets if you guys want something that is more show accurate and has more paint and it just looks better <laughs> Not better, but I still like the look that it has it looks it looks like a more pissed off and more I could take it more seriously in the Japanese version, which looks like a like an airhead. But uh, if you guys just want something that looks better and more show accurate, then just get the Japanese version because the Japanese version makes sound and it just it does a lot more than this. And the Japanese version is actually uh, the Ninja Toy is actually on clearance right now on Amazon because nobody the, the Ninja has been uh, off off air for like a year now, so like the toys are very cheap to get. So if you guys don't like this, then you can definitely get, get the Japanese version, which is a lot better. And so guys, that was my review of the Power Rangers Ninja Steel Ninja Blaster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is Roberto from Ranger Mania, signing out.